Prince of Pisces, children, welcome to your tar your tarot treat for the week of April 10th through the 16th. Um, we're going to explore what's happening with your little Pisces child um, and also uh, what's possible for you as well. Um, maybe I'll get one more card. If not, that's okay. Um, so if you are interested in having a personal experience with me, tarot wise, <laughs> I felt the need to clarify what I meant with, by that. Um, but if you want a tarot reading with me, uh, that information is going to be in the description below. Uh, so the main energy for your um, Pisces child, I am hearing king of the world or some very uh, fiery uh excitement so a lot of pisces children not all uh have arian placements somewhere in their chart whether it's like a venus could be a moon it really just depends and even sometimes the ascendant but usually it's like a venus um because it doesn't go that far from the sign or mercury uh those like it's it's so close to the sign i mean there's a high probability that your child has those qualities uh in their chart so i don't know why i'm shuffling all these because they all pertain to uh, the pisces child um, we have the two of cups in reverse we have the five of wands uh the six of cups um the hang monster in reverse uh the hierophant the High Priestess in reverse, and the Hierophant in reverse too. The Chariot in the upright, Judgment. Uh, it's a whole big old story. <laughs> a lot of confirmation. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Fool and the Four of Cups. So your Piscean child, in my opinion, had a situation where they're coming out of stuck energy. They're, they're no longer stuck. Um, there was probably like either some kind of disappointment with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, um, not getting their way, your child. If you have a Pisces child, they may mope a lot. I'm speaking from personal experience. Um, not to put that out there, but I, I just did. Uh, and they wouldn't be happy about it. But anyway, um, the High Priestess, not so much not listening to their intuition, but I just get a feeling like something didn't go their way. There was some conflict you know, they got a timeout coming up, whatever. It's just something didn't emotionally satisfy, fulfill their needs, go their way. Some kind of spiritual, um, you know, processing now that they have to do. Um, but it's not bad. They're gonna, you know, there was, it's, it's something didn't go their way. Something did not go their way. But it's not bad because I see them coming out of it on the other side. And of course, because they're Pisces, they're going to be better for it. Um, you know, they're going to be better for it, you know, as, as a result. So that's that's what I'm getting. I, I guess I, I needed all of that to just get a better understanding, you know, to sum this up. They're, gonna, they're on top of the world. So, but I, yeah, so apparently I needed the backstory to understand that there was some kind of disappointment, whether their intuition or whatever, it didn't go the way that they had hoped that they were planning, whatever the case may be. But um, even with the conflict and, you know, having some time of isolation or being alone or ha or being either... People told, like, push them away where they have to be the, by themselves, or they cut someone out where they had to be by themselves, or they chose to just go it alone and say, hey, I need my personal space. I see them doing that. I see them processing a situation that did not go in their favor. Um, but being who they are, being, you know, the one that kind of goes inward and lets stuff go and processes things, they're moving on to better things. There's a lot of you know new positive well i'll try something else energy they're they're just coming out of indecision so it's it's good it's solid i'm excited that's what i got so let's see in relation what's going on for you uh aries parents you are in full support of this um not only are things going well for you in your life 
but you are having this motivation energy towards your Piscean child to show them, hey, this is this is good. It's okay. You know, sometimes you don't get all that you want, um, but you're one step closer is the message that you will probably share with them. Seven of Swords for the Torian parent. Um, I feel like you may have a backstory on why this didn't work out. Um, you were keeping that information to yourself because you probably know that if you said something about it to them, then it would just send them in this like moodiness and you don't want to deal with it. So some things are best, best left unsaid. Um, and I feel like that's what you're doing. You're, you're protecting. If it, if it's going to negatively impact the outcome you feel that it's like i said better left unsaid and that's what you're doing you have insight but you're like no nope, i'm not changing this they don't need to that's not going to help them so i'm going to keep this to myself um gemini parents you have the knight of cups um i see you offering a level of understanding to your piscean child I see you picking them up, like literally, but lifting their spirits um, with some encouraging words. Um, you guys, you may take them out on a treat. If you live near water, you may take them by the water and have a conversation. Um, most, uh, I can't say that. We're, we're in April. Weather is getting a little bit better on the East Coast east side of the country in, in midwest but if you're near water that may be a, there's a significant spot for some of you um and you may take your piscean out there and have a conversation about processing what happened and give them some encouraging words and all that jazz um cancer parents you have the eight of swords in reverse so you're able to um have some clarity about this as well i feel like you were somewhat impacted or involved in this in this situation which is why it was like oh i can't see or i just don't know which way to go or this just feels so like whatever you had some level of investment i feel with this um but i see you being able to see clearly I see you being able to make decisive action moving forward. And it's not so much that your your actions are like um, in support of your child. Your actions are in support of your own lane and what you need to accomplish. But by you being an example, some of that residual stuff is going to like rub off on your child, benefit your child. You will use some of that energy like to help your child through that particular situation. But I see you becoming clear on what you need to do about stuff. The, a lesson that you learn for your own personal life, you're gonna be able to give some perspective um, to help your child as well. Um, let's go on to Leo parents. You have the page of wands, some encouragement. Very, I feel you like you can do this. Look how much better, you know, whatever. So I, I feel like you're going to be sharing some encouraging communication with your Piscean child, letting them know you didn't, you, it wasn't bad. You didn't do such and such. And, and just helping them to see this perspective that's going to put them on top in their minds and, and they will thank you for it. Virgo parents, uh, you have temperance and reverse. <sighs> Be kind to yourself. I feel your anxiety. <laughs> um, something goes haywire. And you're trying to, ooh, 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 you know, balance everything. You don't have to do that is what I want you to know and what I'm going to say. That you don't have to pick up all the pieces. It's okay to let certain things fall apart. Um, it's not a reflection of you. So I'm just asking you to consider being very gentle with yourself this week. Um, something's not going to go your way. Something isn't going to be perfect. There's nothing you can do about it. You're going to want to blame yourself, but you already know deep down it's not your fault. It had nothing to do with you. It was other people externally around you that orchestrated some lack of proficiency 
they dropped the ball, not you. You know that they know it. They're not going to admit it, um, possibly. But I see you taking on more mental responsibility about this thing that happened than what you should. And so please don't do that because it wasn't your fault. You're not responsible. You're going to feel that way anyway. I know. I get it. Fine. But as long as you know that you're not uh, responsible, you're not in charge, that too, of this, um, it's, that's all you need to know. Libra parents, you have the page of swords in reverse. Um, I see you keeping your mouth shut. That's what I'm feeling. Keep your mouth shut. Not, I'm not telling you to keep your mouth shut, but you're aware that whatever, whatever's going on with you personally, you are in a season where you're like, I'm going to let this play out and I'm not going to be so quick to share what I'm thinking because sometimes you either beat people to the punch and you realize that people need to work out their own process. It has specifically for those of you who are married or um, it's with a man um, or a, a, a manly person, but I, I'm, I'm getting a male energy where um, you got to let them go. You got to let them figure that shit out by themselves. You have the answer, but your husband and I, it's specifically a husband for somebody. Um, keep you're just gonna keep your mouth shut he'll figure it out he's gonna get there he you just gotta let him bump his head a couple of times and I know that that's frustrating for you personally uh whoever that's for but just keep your mouth shut like I know that the, like I'm not telling you I'm just saying like that's that's what you're gonna do you're going to just all right I'm gonna let this play out and you probably will do the fingers and stuff in the air like I just did um but just know that he's going to come to and he's going to say, you were right. I should have listened to you or that didn't work. Or could you show me please how to do that? I apologize. But he's going to come to. He's going to realize that I should have been a little bit more clear in making that decision. Um, Scorpio parents, you have the queen of pentacles in reverse. Um, I don't see you losing money. I don't. I, I would say you may be a little bit more concentrated on your home environment. Kicking people out, people who have overstayed their welcome in your personal presence, being very protective about your home space, cleaning your home space, keeping your, your energy, your home environment energy very clear, very clean, very, mm, you know, I feel like it was... Not even just your kids, um, but just external people, people's like vocal, like energies, not, not their physical presence, but just like their, you're just taking some time to clear, clear the energy in your home, clear it, clean it, um, reset it. I feel like that's what Scorpio parents are doing uh, this week. Uh, Sagittarian parents, you have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Uh, so you too are letting go of uh, the shit that no longer serves you. Some baggage and some weight you've been carrying uh, is getting gone and released and you feel good about it and you're able to get back to your Sagittarian self. Um, so exciting for you. Mm, what is this? Yeah, I feel like some of you just said, well, what is this about? Like, what particular area? Um, I'm getting work. Finances. A, a burden is being lifted, which is exciting. Um, oh, and then you get more time. Look at that. Because this weight is being lifted, you're going to have more time with your Piscean child. Because they've been like, Daddy, Mommy, I want time with you. And you're like, I want to spend time with you, but this has been such a burden that I can't give you my focus because you're, turn you're even turned away from them. So it's like that is being lifted. You can breathe a sigh of relief. And now you can turn your energy back to your Piscean child and give them what they need. But I specifically see like business, money, like materials like that. 
I don't, I'm not feeling relationship or emotional, but just some kind of burden, material burden is being lifted off of you. Capricorn, nice. You and your Piscean child are going to be kicking it, celebrating. You feel good in your life. You're finalizing some details. A project is um, in motion. It's like you got the you got the green light, you got the go ahead, you got whatever it, whatever next steps that you needed to get solidified or hear something about or from. If you hear that, yes, I have tea, but I still need to eat. Um, but anyway, um, you're, you're celebrating something that you have been really working on, pushing on, putting energy towards. You get the green light, you get a go, you get it's a it's celebration <laughs> um you're happy about it your kid may not understand it but you're happy about it it will benefit them you know in the months to follow um but i just see celebratory energy something that you've been working hard towards really excited about you're like yes finally oh my god thank you that's that's your vibe uh, Aquarius parents, you have the magician in reverse air energy. I get it. Um, some things are stuck, not in a bad stuck. Some things are just on pause and I don't know what, um, sign the mercury retrograde is going to be, uh, in, but, uh, just be mindful. It's almost like things are suspended in air. They're not done with. You know, so how all these flowers are suspended in the air. Um, it's a matter of just waiting because it's it's not bad. But so while you're waiting on that answer, just make sure that you're spending time with your Piscean child because that's where your energy best needs to be served anyway. Don't don't worry about this. This this is not where your focus needs to be. You don't need to worry about, oh, when is this going to work out? When is this when am I going to get the the information that I need? Don't worry about that. Your main focus is, all right, I know that this is going to work out. I'm going to take my focus away from this project here. I'm going to reinvest it in my child so we can have some fun. Thank you Pisces parents. You guys have the 7 of wands. I don't know what you are personally emotionally guarded about. I feel like it has something to do with work people. People at work um, like just getting, having to be defensive or guarded at work because of the ignorance and stupidity of the people that you deal with. <laughs> so just be mindful. You do have help. You're not, even though that's annoying, you're not bothered by it because you're not like angry. I don't see, you're just like, ugh, like irritated. Um, or you, but you see what it is. It's like, we're jealous of you, Pisces, because you're so fucking awesome. And you're like, I know, I know I'm awesome, you know, but you still feel the need to protect yourself. Um, but you have help. You have support. You have support. You have not only just people rooting for you, but you have spiritual support, which is a higher, a, a bigger thing, um, a more encompass, encompassing form of help. Um, and spirit will use the key people around you to help you move forward um, and advance and whatever. So don't don't feel bad. This is short lived. Um, don't worry about it. All right. Thank you, parents of Pisces children. Thank you so much. I can't say it enough. You guys have a great week. Take care.